Level 3 is also the level in 
Mitchell. Wonder is attempting to finish the game are unsuccessful as a feeling of uneasiness stops them. The doors of this area will either lead to the main hall or the boiler room, with the main hall being the most commonly occurring. The boiler room. The boiler room area is fairly large and cluttered with vintage machinery. The industrial piping on the walls are all intertwined with one another. Exhaust valves line the pipes as almond water flows through them. The pressure of the water causes the pipes to leak. The temperature is hot here. Most surfaces are dry, yet steam fills the air as the machines run continuously. Most rooms are filled with boilers and some have furnaces. The noises heard are mostly loud machinery or almond water dripping from the pipes. Wanderers report faint whispering emitting from the large smoking furnaces. Maintenance elevators are present, but it is not advised to use them. Reports of a fourth area have been found, and that area was named the lobby room. However, it is unknown how to enter it. Wanderers that have experienced this room claim you're not supposed to know, which is thought to mean that you are unable to remember how to enter this area. Witnesses have lost all memory of this room within a few weeks. It's likely that many of us have already entered this room, but have no recollection. Entities Normal entities are not very common in level 5. However, there is a large population of dead moths that have created nests here. This level is considered to be one of their central hives. Most fly out of dark rooms swarming the halls. The more dangerous female death moths tend to stay in their nests, although they are more common in level 5. Other entities that are known to appear here are hounds, woodlands, skin stealers, watchers, weebisher, growlers, death rats, ants, as well as one report of a wrangler in the boiler room. Entity 26, also known as Samantha, can occasionally be found in the main hall. If you plan to approach Samantha, be sure to bring some high-quality meat. Then there is Entity Number 18, known as the Beast of Level 5. Here is a summary of the entities that we have not yet covered. Woodlands The woodlands are sentient and highly intelligent entities, found rarely in several levels of the back rooms. Rather than a physical body, they manifest as faces carved into wood. If an environment has walls, floors, or ceilings that appear to be made of wood, then it is a possible spot for woodlands. Its form varies, but generally appears as a humanoid figure or face. When exiting the surface, its body seems to be made from the material itself, and the entity becomes a physical being. Woodlands tend to target wanderers that are losing grip on reality. They may stalk a target for miles on surfaces, and occasionally make their presence known, before disappearing suddenly. Once the target is sufficiently paranoid, the woodland will partially no-clip out of their surface and attempt to grab the wanderer. The wanderer will be pulled into the walls, where parts of their body will be pierced with hundreds of small splinters. It is typically fatal if any splinters pierce the lungs, heart, brain, or eyes. However, it is possible to survive if most of the splinters are removed. The bodies of deceased victims pulled completely into the surface cannot be recovered. One theory is that victims of woodland attacks actually become woodlands post-mortem, but this has not been confirmed. 
Some species are dangerous. 
some small fuzzy round creatures found in the darkest corners of rooms. They are found throughout the back rooms and migrate randomly from level to level. While they can harm humans to an extent, ultimately they don't pose a threat to us. A colony of ants, when undisturbed, are usually spotted huddled together, and colonies can vary in size from dozens to hundreds of ants, all in one location. Ants will usually stay to themselves and not approach any passerby unless someone gets close enough, or if they are provoked. If within three feet of them, they will quickly start to climb up the person and crawl around them. They start sticking onto them and biting similarly to how a leech would. They can be easily removed by just picking them off your skin. Bites can cause mild bruising. Wrangler Wranglers are dangerous, snake-like entities that use their bodies to distract and confuse their prey into a hypnotic-like state. Their skin is moist and sticky. They are translucent with their insides being visible. These entities usually appear in caves or damp areas. Wranglers use their massive bodies to burrow through the ground for fast travel. When burrowing, they are very loud. They have large appetites and will eat anything in sight, including wanderers. The ability of a wrangler vary depending on its gender and age. Males usually attack and consume anything in its path. Females do not attack wanderers and will usually retreat when noticed. They instead eat vegetation or rock minerals. The females will only eat wanderers when pregnant to feed their young. Once the female lays the eggs, they are implanted into the ground or walls as seeds. These seeds will sprout into a branch, holding many different offspring. The female will return regularly to deliver food. Once the offspring outgrow their branch, they will break off from it and travel with the mother until they are old enough to live independently. Samantha Samantha is a feline mammal that appears to be a typical domestic house cat. The travelers who have come into contact with her have reported to believe otherwise. She is capable of speaking fluently in at least three human languages and possesses several psychic abilities including clairvoyance, mind reading and teleportation. The full extent of her abilities is unknown. She coaxes travelers into feeding her meat or any meat-based products they may have with them in exchange for a psychic reading. The nature of Samantha's psychic readings varies depending on the quality of meat you provide her with, ranging from very detailed to rather vague. Samantha mostly enjoys steak, premium fish and chicken, but dislikes low-quality meat like spam and sardines. If not fed anything, she will become violent, attacking like any cat would, scratching, biting and cawing, although there have been no known fatalities. Samantha has a strong jaw and abnormally serrated teeth, enabling her to easily tear through skin and meat. Because of this, her bites may result in severe physical trauma. The Beast of Level 5 The Beast of Level 5 is an extremely intelligent entity and prefers to call himself the Gentleman of Level 5. He will try to coax wanderers into his office and talk them into making a deal with him. It's not known what his true capabilities are, and he claims to own the hotel. Although he may sound nice, do not trust him, do not enter his office, and do not make a deal. No matter how short your stay is in his office, he can see everything. He can smell your fear and he'll use that to his advantage. Victims have warned to not trust the portraits or the patterns you see in the wall. He will only make himself seen to those he wants to be seen by. You don't discover him, he discovers you. If you spot that thing out of the corner of your eye, it's already too late. Bases and Communities The MEG have a base here named Housekeeping. This was made to protect other groups from entities and to study the 